various causes of megaloplastic anemia. It is due to cobalamin deficiency, it is due to dietary deficiency, deficiency of intrinsic factor, there's a pernicious anemia. After gastrectomy, there's a development of megaloplastic anemia. In case of malabsorption, there's a megaloplastic anemia. After edial resection, resulting to megaloplastic anemia. In megaloplastic anemia, also associated with hypothyroidism and methyl melonic anemia due to the defect in early steps of vitamin B12 processing. So these are the various cause of megaloplastic anemia. Most common cause is the dietary deficiency. Beta, vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 refer to the group of cobalt containing vitamins compound called cobalamin. There are cobalamin form using activated charcoal, hydroxocobalamin produced by these cells and the two naturally occurring cofactor of methyl melonic coa mutase mu and methylacobalamin and 5-methyl tetrahydrofolate homocysteine methyl transferase. So these are the group of B12. The synthesis of B12 is mainly by bacteria. There is acetobacterium, aerobacter, flavobacterium, proteus, pseudomonas. And industrial production is through the fermentation of selected microorganisms like Streptomyces griseus, pseudomonas demi, tutificans, and profeni bacterium, and ceramic. And the function of B12, it is normally involved in the metabolism of every cell of the body and affecting the DNA synthesis and the regulation and also fatty acid synthesis and energy production. Part of the function of B12 are shared by the adequate dose of folic acid since vitamin B12 usually regenerate folate in the body. So most of the vitamin B12 deficiency achieve, there is a folate symptoms, there is a pernicious anemia and megaloblastosis are due to poor synthesis of DNA and there is folic acid from the thymine production. So vitamin B12 deficiency, the most common manifestation in megaloplastic anemia is 85% of the megaloplastic anemia due to vitamin B12 deficiency. And the nutritional deficiency of folate, B12, and both are commonly seen in vegetarian than non-vegetarian. Also, there is a H. pylori infection. It lead to B12 malabsorption and megaloplastic anemia. So H. pylori infection result in megaloplastic anemia. And the source of this vitamin B12 in the liver, egg, and the meat. And the recommended daily allowance in a normal children, vitamin B12, 2 microgram per day. And during pregnancy, it is 2.6 microgram per day. Vitamin B12 deficiency manifests as a megaloplastic anemia and neurological abnormalities, that is subacute combined degeneration of spinal cord in adults. Vitamin B12 deficiency. The daily requirement of vitamin B12 is 1.5 microgram, which is easily fulfilled by the dietary content and the vitamin B12 precursor present in almost all foods. Vitamin B12 absorption required hydrolysis by gastric acid and the combination by the specific intrinsic factor of castel, there is an IFC present in stomach. It is synthesis for vitamin B12. It is mainly absorbed in the distal ileum and it is bound in the plasma as a protein transcobalamin. So clinical manifestation of B12 deficiency due to there is a deficiency of intrinsic factor, there is a juvenile pernicious anemia. Is a rare autosomal recessive disorders. There is a intrinsic factor of castal deficiency. 
is the prototype for vitamin B12 deficiency. This case usually present at 9 to 12 months with the triad of progressive severe anemia, glossitis, red, smooth, and the painful term, and CNS sign, there is ataxia, parasthesia, and hypo or hyperreflexia. This is triad of pernicious anemia at 9 to 12 month age. Anemia, red, smooth tongue, ataxia, hypo and hyperreflexia. Vitamin B12 deficiency due to other cause present simply, similarly, except the difference in the age of presentation and the severity. The vitamin B12 diagnosis established by megaloblastic peripheral smear, low serum vitamin B12 less than 100 pegogram per ml, and urinary excretion of methyl malonic acid more than 3.5 milligram per dl and the skilling test for diagnosis of vitamin B12. Skilling test used to establish presence of vitamin B12 deficiency part one, as well as to differentiate between intrinsic factor of castal deficiency and the malabsorption defect part two. There is a skilling test. In the first part, the small amount of radio label 57 cobalt vitamin B12 is given orally, followed by flushing dose of 1 milligram parental vitamin B12 after two hours, which lead to excretion is more than 10 to 30 label this vitamin B12 label dose in urine, and excretion of less than 2% of the radio label vitamin B12 it indicates there is a retention and there is a vitamin B12 deficiency. In the second part, the test is repeated with 30 milligram of intrinsic factor of castor given along with radioactive dose of this B12. Correction of test result indicate the intrinsic factor of castor deficiency while persistent abnormality it suggests malabsorption. The management of this vitamin B12 deficiency by the oral vitamin B12 therapy is unsuccessful in the most of the cases. The cases without neurological signs are treated by lifelong therapy. There is a vitamin B12 intramuscular, there is a one milligram per month, while those with neurological signs needs more intensive therapy for first two weeks. There is IM vitamin B12, one milligram per day, followed by monthly injection of vitamin B12. Folic acid deficiency, there's a vitamin B9. Folic acid and folate are a natural form of B9 itself are not biologically active. They are converted to tetrahydrofolate and a biologically active component. The function of folic acid, it is essential in infant and pregnancy, especially during cell division and the growth. Also it is important for RNA synthesis, also require folate. And folate decrease risk of, there is a cerebrovascular accident, and hypertension. Source of folic acid, there's a green leafy vegetables, spinach, egg yolk, and there is a dried fresh beans, fortified cereals, peas, leaflets, liver, and liver products, and the fruits, they are the source of folic acid. Folate deficiency result in megaloblastic anemia. And the deficiency during pregnancy, it lead to neural tube defect, NTD. And also there is a fetal growth retardation due to folic acid deficiency. And there's an increased homocysteine level in, and it lead to spontaneous abortion. The recommended 
daily allowance of folic acid in pregnant women 600 to 800 microgram per day and normally adult there is 60 to 100 microgram per day in children folic acid deficiency the most common cause dietary deficiency also it is due to defective food processing there is over dilution or excessive eating also in malabsorption result in folic acid deficiency also extensive bowel resection and folic acid deficiency anti convulsant and the oral contraceptive it result into there is a folic acid deficiency an increased physiological demand in chronic hemolytic state there is sickle cell anemia and there is a folic acid deficiency at lead to megaloblastic crisis in sickle cell anemia folic acid deficiency normal folic acid requirement in children 100 mg per day supplied as a folate in most except it is deficient folic acid is deficient in gut and camel milk and it is absorbed throughout the intestine the folic acid deficiency rarely dietary usually seen in case we when there is a poor there is a poor absorption malabsorption syndrome in fish tap from delatum infestation it lead to folic acid deficiency increased requirement in hemolytic anemia there is a folic acid deficiency so we are prescribing folic acid in the management of sickle cell anemia an impaired folic metabolism due to drug like methotrexate pyrimethamine and phenytoin also result into folic acid deficiency and dietary deficiency in the baby fed with gout milk because gout milk is deficient of folic acid and also unfortified powder milk and there's a folic acid deficiency clinically most of the case present at 4 to 7 month of the age and progressively developing chronic anemia failure to thrive chronic diarrhea neurological features tremors and developmental regression hyperpigmentation of the knuckles that the dorsum of the finger and thigh and the bleeding in severe case in male megaloblastic anemia due to folic acid due to thrombocytopenia the combination of megaloblastic anemia neurological signs cutaneous hyperpigmentation it suggests possibility of infantile tremor syndrome in children